<laughs> Just a reminder of the microphone used for your questions. Rebecca, over here. So we should be good with Andrew over here. So, Coach, if you want to start us off, that'd be great. Yeah, it was a uh, that was really good performance uh, based on the fact that the adversity that we came in with, that uh, Glenn was not was able to practice just a little bit the last two days. Uh, Nick wasn't able to practice at all. We thought maybe he could he could do something, but uh, didn't feel it today, so uh, chose to, to sit him out. And now we got to pl play a team that is going to play 100% zone, and uh, and with Nick Stauskas not in the lineup. So the next man up mentality uh, certainly worked out because Zach, Derek, Spike, you know, Karras really played well on the perimeter line as well, and uh, it was a, it was a really good win. I, I, I'm so, I'm shocked a little bit by the size of the score based on how they've been playing coming in. So it was a good sign that we we bounced back from a tough loss the other night. Right in the middle with uh, Joe, coach. Hey, coach, uh, can you just? Talk about how big this game is for Zach coming off a tough, tough game against Charlotte. Yeah, I mean he, uh, you know, he made a big shot to end that game down in the uh, in the Puerto Rico tournament, and then he just to, for him to come off the bench to have that coming off the bench as, as a reserve for Nick or for Karras or Glenn or whatever is huge for us. So it really, when he came into the game, the floor expanded. Uh, when we were playing with the two big guys, we did okay, but we couldn't expand like we could against that zone, and he was great. Right to Redmond. Were, were you thinking coming into this game that he wouldn't be shy to, to pull the trigger? Or, or no, you know we talked. We, we talked about his shots, and and it's you know I, I think I might have mentioned to you guys. He's got this ability to get his own shot at times. He's got a great lift. It's a pretty shot, and it was sort of Tim's Tim's strength as well. But you can overuse that. Just be a little bit more selective. Make sure you're in rhythm. Uh, and if, actually, he should have taken one more today at the top of the key that he he turned down, but. No, I mean, he's been shooting the ball well in practice. Uh, just there may be one or two shots that he would like to have back from his performance in that last game. Uh, but he's just got to keep it. He, he does that well. And, you know, he's one of those rare shooters. Like, uh, Nick has got two great qualities, among that many, that he can shoot and drive. Zach can shoot and defend. And really, those are his two uh, top things. So that our defense picked up a lot. To just give him 22 points in the second half was great. Right in the front with Mark. John, does that, I don't know if this works in football, you know, you, you put Urban now on tape and now people have seen yeah. him. Now, is that an advantage for you guys and now they know there's another weapon and they haven't seen him to this point? Well, much, or? It, yeah, I think that um, it's everything that as the video year goes on, everybody understands more about everybody. But I think pretty much uh, he, that he can stretch the floor allows us to stretch the floor. And be, his numbers wouldn't say that going in. But I, I always say to, to the guys, when I see a guy who's had as many attempts as he's had, he must be a shooter. The coach isn't stupid. He wouldn't let him shoot that many times if he couldn't shoot. And I hope I'm not stupid. I see it in practice. I want him to shoot the ball when he's open. Back to the middle with Jeff. You guys saw a few different defensive looks from yep. Calvin State. How valuable is that for, for you guys? We saw 3-2. We saw extended 3-2. Uh, we saw 2-3. We saw man-to-man. -man. And I, I don't think Derek and Spike missed a beat on getting us into something. So, uh, you know, we, 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 I thought we moved. We got to right angles. Uh, that's a tough prep in, in, in two days, even though we were trying to go uh, on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. We were trying to, Wednesday, we were trying to worry more about Michigan. And everything was a Thanksgiving type of prep for this, but the guys really responded well. Right down front with Rod. You talk about fixing some of the things that you didn't do right in, in that Charlotte game. How do you assess that and in, in allowing dribble penetration, taking some better yeah. shots, getting a better percentage? Look like those things were a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, we, we uh, I think we were a little tired in that last game, especially with the overtime game and everything. So I think that came into effect. But we were able to work at it. And once, you know, we what you guys know we watch a lot of film and we watch it with the team and we break things down. That This is a pretty high IQ team for, for making uh, changes as we need to make them. With Brendan again. Is there still swelling in Nick's ankle? Uh, I don't know enough. I just know he couldn't push off of it today. Uh, so if you couldn't push off of it, it was probably best to just uh, let the next man step up. It's obviously, four days removed, but is there any status for, for what you uh, think? I don't know until, you know, until he's practicing 100%, he won't go, go in there. He's got to be at pretty, pretty close to 100% to be able to go in there. So it, it'll be a big focus for us to, to get him ready. He'll be rehabbing like crazy for the next three days. Right down in front with Daniel. As Mitch gets his legs back under him, are we going to see more of those two big lineups that you talked about in the offseason? Well, it depends who we're playing. I mean, that's what that all depends on. But, you know, Mitch, Mitch now has said, and I don't want to beat this excuse up, he's had four full practices. So we were able to practice two times before we went down to Puerto Rico. 
you know, he sort of went into Ohio State with very little prep, right? And he had two more <coughs> this week. And he's, he's so far from where he's going to be. So we just got to keep working through it. Uh, we'll, we, we'll, we'll have to play two bigs at some time. I'm sure we will. John? Kind of a follow up to that. Did, did Mitch go a little longer today than he might have? I wanted him to just get continued. That's a workout right now. That's a workout for him, and we want him to give those minutes. He's had no issues with his back at all, so we want to get him out there and let him just get, you know, he hasn't played uh, basketball against help defense, against changing defense, against double teams. You don't play that in the summer. You just don't see that. You don't see help defense. You don't see people really checking. And he's got to be able to see that. And then, uh, obviously, on defense, you've got to be able to sustain yourself. So there's some areas of growth there. We'll go back to Rob. Uh, you gave Jordan a start today, his 97th start, yeah. but he, he looked much, much better uh, in terms yeah. of his energy and what he brought early, six out of the first 10 points. Yeah, you, you know, going into this game, Nick's injury made us had to make some decisions, and we, we decided to go with, you know, some ex experience with, with Jordan. And then with, with Nick out of the lineup, we knew we needed a skill level with Mitch, you know, at some point, you know, was passing the ball against the zone, et cetera. He had some pretty good success against the Syracuse zone, and. So we did. We had made that decision to just go from there. But I wanted Jordan out there, and I I like what John did too. I needed John maybe to come off the bench, relax, and just come off the bench because he he didn't play as well as he can play. Have time for a couple more. We'll go back to Joe. Going up in, into a pretty big game against Duke. How important is it for a guy like Zach uh, to to have his confidence up and be part of the offense? Well, I think you know I, I don't know if they'll have any carryover once he walks into Cameron. And he's got to still get up there and, and go. But I know our guys will be excited about it. Got a great you know Hall of Fame coach, incredible arena, great 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 players, and we did, we're going to go down there and do our best. But it is good to come in on this note as opposed to you know a two point loss or something to these guys. We'll go to Sam, and then we'll close with Brendan. You guys had uh, 17 offensive rebounds today compared to Coppin State's 14 defensive rebounds. Does that show uh, maybe a different strategy or just that you're no, bigger than them? No, I think we're just better than them inside, bigger and stronger than they were inside. And we were able, able to, you know, in their defense in the second half, uh, we didn't allow them to get those second shots. We did a great job of checking them in the second half, so checking out. So, uh, no, I, I think that our big guys are bigger and broader and better rebounders. You know, they had Murray coming off an injury. He's a tremendous rebounder, but he was, uh, you know, he, he's been out for three weeks with a broken hand. He wasn't, didn't seem like he was ready to go today. He was, he's still doing what Mitch is going through. And finally, Brendan, given the experiences you've had this season, how much more ready is this team to go into Duke than it was into the atmosphere of an Iowa State. Oh yeah, and, uh, hopefully it'll be much different based on that. And, I mean, we we just need to go to Iowa State, and Iowa State, and we needed to get Mitch on the floor just to get him out there. Um, but now, but we, you know, we have three days. We'll do our best to just get some timing down. Although Duke doesn't let you get much timing down, they're going to really force pressure on you, and you're going to have to respond very well against it. So, uh, but every day that we can get. That isn't a, that day before a game is huge for our development with this team. We are, we're, we're just trying to make it work right now, given all these circumstances with these two injuries that we've had and, the, and uh, three injuries. And now we just we need time to practice, which I, I think we'll see in a little bit. But for right now, next two days get better, Michigan, then get ready for Duke. Coach Beeline, thank you. Okay, thanks.